is up guys? Welcome back into the channel. If you're new, thank you for stopping in. So we are currently up here in the shop. Um, we are going to be rearranging the tool bench here just a little. Um, obviously it's really messy. I have tools over there. That little cabinet down. Let me zoom in. That little black and clear one right down there has all like the power tools, um, impacts, um, all this type of stuff. That needs a place. So we went to Harbor Freight and bought the 26 inch US General top storage there. So I got orange just because my box here is black, but I do have my Alan Schaumer's decal on the side because that's all we run here on the farm. So I wanted to kind of break it up a little bit. So we're going to get getting this cleaned up, get all that stuff off. Only bad thing is once I throw that on top, we're going to be about an inch too tall. Um, here height wise to slide it underneath so this is going to be just kind of a roll around style toolbox now we'll have to put something else there but at least I'll be able to stick like my screwdrivers and get all like the pliers and stuff up in that which would free this stuff up for um, my power tools and it actually free up that bin over there to allow us to put something else in there just to kind of clean up the shop a little bit so I'm going to go ahead and get these straps cut on this thing. Actually, I probably won't even have to cut them. I should just slide right in. Perfect. Uh, might need a knife. Uh, probably spin this around, grab a knife, cut the top. Hopefully get this thing slid out. I did buy the little mat that I'm going to stick on the actual wooded top there. Um, just so it doesn't slide around. It's just this um, drawer liner. I'm going to cut it to size and actually put that down and then put the toolbox on top of it so it doesn't slide around or anything. But I am filming on the old camera just because we are up in the shop. Um, today's the day we start tearing old 98 apart here. Um, we got to take the rear bumper off. I'm going to be taking the tailgate off, the bed off, taillights out, toolbox off. You got to take the um, gooseneck plate or hitch out. So hopefully we get that stuff done and then we bought a bunch of stuff to actually coat the frame. So hopefully in the next, I don't know, week, week and a half, this truck's definitely different, guys. So stay tuned for that. We're gonna go ahead and get this unboxed, get everything changed around here, and then I'll bring you guys back. Gonna give you guys a quick, just a little update, brief description of what we've done here. So obviously you can tell we moved it. There's the new box out on the old box. Here's a better, that's why I went with the orange. I was gonna go black, but I said screw it. Let's kind of dress it up a little bit. So what I end up doing is moving like my specialty uh, um, bits up here. A lot of the stuff that I don't really use that often. Um, and then all my ratchets. I haven't filled any of these three yet. These are just little cubbies. Um, here we got some standard wrenches and stuff that we had used. Um, also, I got a bigger set down here, so if we need any of the big guys, they're still down here in this box. Um, a lot of the auto body pry bars, some smaller pry bars, some picks here, um, some seam splitters, and then punches in this one. Um, that's metric box here, so obviously standard metric and the pry bars and stuff in this one. Um, different pliers um, in this one. Wire cutters, all types. Uh, this one, we just have the torque wrench and hammers. I'm not sure what else I'm going to stick in this one yet. Um, it's kind of hard once you get another box like this, reorganizing everything. We still have stuff over there. But down here, this one is empty. This one, just kind of my junk drawer. Um, it was my wiring. I had all this nice and neat in here. But then, yeah. So, moved the T-handles and the Pittsburgh star bits. The filter wrenches and all that and kind of this drawer, that stuff was down here. Um, here's basically all my specialty grommets and stuff I would use. Self tappers, um, insulators, body shims, hose clamps, um, bearing separator, CV axle boot, um, pliers and stuff. Moved all the adjustables up to this one. Bigger stuff um, that's not really what we're going to use all the time, but in case we do need it, it's here. Um, empty. There's those big wrenches again, and then we have empty, and then this one I just kind of left alone, just kind of reorganized it a little bit. I did have those specialty ones up here. 
So we kind of cleaned it up a little bit, um, stuck like the swivels, and then we also have, uh, I don't even remember what I want to call these. But yeah, those are up there in the corner. So we're going to get to work. Um, go ahead and get some stuff pulled off of the 98 here. We got a big box here. That stuff came from up here. I'm just going to start on the tail lights, pull those off, probably move down to the bumper here. Hopefully get it pulled off, get the license plate taken off. Um, start on, I might need new, two people for that, I'm not 100% sure. Get the toolbox slid back this way and get it off. Um, we'll get over here, get the uh, fuel door undone, ready to come off. And basically if I can just undo all the bed bolts to where it's ready to just come off, that'd be, be fantastic. I think the gooseneck here, all I have to take out are those four um, bolts that go down through there. Because if you look from this angle, I believe they're just going through the bed and then they bolt in. Hopefully you guys can see that. That plate there and then this plate here. So hopefully I'll be able to break those free. Like I said, I might need somebody to, if you guys can see it. I don't know if you'll be able to. No, I'm going to get too dark. But there's one like right up in there. Um, that I might have to hold a wrench on while dad or somebody breaks them free up top. But once we get all this off, hopefully the bed comes off pretty quick. And then we're just going to start sanding. I bought, I bought some abrasive wheels over there. I bought a floppy disk and then we just bought some implement paint. I was going to POR this whole thing, but I wanted it to be fairly easy to touch up if I do get a chip or something on the frame since it is a farm truck it's not going to be no show truck that door's locked but it's just the uh, implement paint from like a tractor supply um, rural king one of those types of shops so if it does chip then i can just dip a brush in there brush it back on kind of sand that area down just whatever i need to do so we're going to start back here and just work our way forward ryan let's <laughs> tailgate just to make it a little bit easier to get in here um, I'll obviously I'll probably throw that tailgate back on the um, bed when we go to lift it out but this thing was shot I mean that hinge was gone this one's all gone this tailgate barely even worked you had to lift up the handle and pull over on the little lever here and then to shut it you had to lift with this it, it, I mean it was just a mess so we're gonna move on to the bumper um, I don't think there's too many bolts in this thing if I remember correctly now there's a couple here. Um, I do have some wiring that I'm gonna have to fish out here from when I put in these reverse lights. Here, I'll probably just tuck down. I did splice in, so I got new um, wiring harness for the rear, rear tail lights. Obviously, none of this was ever hooked up for trailer or anything, which I probably should get that hooked up at some point um, since I will be going to a normal bumper and having the reese hitch probably be a good idea to get that stuff hooked up so if i ever need to pull a trailer um we have one but yeah we're just going to keep pushing forward start here work our way that way um this bumper will probably be for sale at some point on facebook marketplace so if anybody wants it it's not 100 percent you can probably take a sledgehammer and smack this back in um there's a piece somewhere that come undone. I believe, yeah, right here. It's got to go back forward to that hole. So like I said, you can probably beat it forward. If you have an old farm truck, I'll probably put like 100 bucks on it. Because I mean, there is some weight here. This thing's not light. I dropped it on my foot when I was going to put it on there. 
um, probably three, four years ago. So yeah, we're gonna keep working. Just a brief update for you guys. We have the rear bumper off. I forgot exactly how heavy this thing was, but I mean, that thing is solid. Um, it's not rusted out. It does have, I did kind of beat that back in and then a small dent here, but I mean, there's no way I'd be able to lift this by myself. Um, that, and then we started undoing everything else. Tail lights are out, tailgate's off, you guys seen that. For my gooseneck, we had the um, plug in here. Well, I couldn't figure out how to get this piece off. I took out a screw there and a screw there, hoping this front cap would slide off, but that didn't do it. I took out a set screw there, thinking maybe this was a plug in. Well, that didn't do it. Um, There's a screw in there, and I was like, I don't really want to take it off. So I just, since the bed's gonna be junk, I cut that hole a little bit bigger and snaked it through. So now we're just gonna move on to hopefully breaking some of these bed bolts loose. Um, you can tell this cross member here on the frame's a little, little rough, so we might end up redoing that. Um, but everything else I think is pretty solid underneath here. It's got some flakiness, some dirt and stuff, but no big deal. We'll back it out and pressure wash it off before we spray it down um, and coat everything. But other than that, we're moving along, slowly but surely. Um, like I said, we're going to try and work on those bed bolts. Hopefully, fingers crossed, everything will break free. Sorry, I'm pretty sure I just pointed the camera at the ceiling. Hopefully, everything breaks free. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to set the camera up down underneath there just because I don't want it to be covered in dirt and stuff. Um, I might set it up out here, but we'll see. But anyway, guys, we're going to get back at it. So, as you guys can tell, the toolbox is out, bumper's off, tailgate's off, taillights are out. All the bed bolts down this side are out, all of them besides one, and it's the one that sits, let me just zoom in for you real quick. The one that's, so you see the leaf spring hanger right here where my finger is? This one right above that, so you can't get anything in there. So what I did on that side, I cut a hole in the floor, took our little propane torch wherever it went, I think it's over there on the table, heated the bolt up, and, uh, I just basically got it red hot. Oh, there's the torch I was talking about, the little one. Uh, I just got it red hot, climbed underneath with the extension or extendable ratchet and the socket there, and I eventually got it to break free. So I'm gonna hopefully do that on the other side without cutting the hole in the floor. I'm hoping I can just heat it up right up in there, get it red hot, and then be able to just work it free. That's the plan. It's kind of hard to film underneath there just because it is so dark. I tried to set the camera up on the other side, but you guys couldn't see anything at all. Because by the time you're down here, yeah, you can't see anything. So I'm gonna get this broken free, and all we have left is those four bolts and taking the filler neck off, which is filler neck shouldn't be too bad. I think it's three or four bolts. Because um, I changed this once already. So one, two, and this one up here is three. So we'll get that taken off and then we should be able to hopefully throw a chain from like here to that pocket or something from pocket to pocket and hopefully lift this thing straight up and off. This is where a car lift would come in super handy. You can back underneath, throw one leg of the car lift there, one up there, lift the entire bed, pull out from underneath of it. But your boy's broke. Don't have all that YouTube money yet. <laughs> but uh, we're doing the old school way like I've always done it. Um, we'll just come in with the tractor, break it free, or if you got four buddies, you can put one on each corner and lift. But yeah, we're gonna get back at it, and uh, I'll see you guys shortly. Well guys, the truck bed is off. Hopefully you guys could see that all right. Thank you to my brother and my dad for helping me flip this thing off. It was definitely a uh, kind of pain in the butt. 
Um, the frame's not in as bad a shape as I was expecting it to be. I mean, you get your typical, like, um, just flakiness and stuff. And then, like, here on the side, obviously, it's been painted a couple times. But the gooseneck hitch is in really good shape. Um, the only really rusty <coughs> spots are here. It's supposed to be, like, the other side. And uh, where the spare tire would have mounted. Um, this, like, where the keyhole, I would suppose, goes through there. It's kind of rusted and twisted. And then... This front frame, hopefully you guys can see that right there is cracked a little bit. And then right there is a little hole started. But nothing too major. Um, you can see GM's coating there. Plan is to hopefully get this all washed tomorrow. Um, start sanding on it tomorrow. And then we have some surprises coming for it. Um, it will be going to Chad's, like I said, for the uh, rocker panel and cab corners. <clears throat> we will be taking these off and throwing airbags on. Um, we have new shocks and stuff coming. So it's a lot, just gonna be a lot of sanding here in the next day or so. And then uh, here's the tractor paint I was talking about a while ago that I got. Just this implement, gloss black implement paint, um, oil base. I just wanted something so if it does, does get chipped, I can touch it up real quick. Um, bad thing about like if you powder coat anything I thought about taking leaf springs off and having them unpowder coated but Chad and I were talking when they get worked and sagged and squished and that powder coat ends up chipping and it's just a bigger pain in the butt so yeah step one to a multi-step project um, is complete so thanks for stopping today guys um, I'm the GMA and remember learning as I do doing all I love I'll catch you guys in the next one peace